Hi YouTube, I just want to make a video uh, to show you my latest creation. It's a uh, rotary spark gap and I'm going to be pulsing lots of things with this uh, in the near future. Uh, basically it is a wheel with a motor. This little motor came out of a printer and uh, drives this wheel. It's got a uh, little piece of coat hanger wire on there and it rotates between these two pieces of uh, thick gauge copper wire that I scavenged from somewhere. It's like from a wall <coughs> wire somewhere. Maybe they come through and uh, into my saltwater capacitor. Um, it's being fed by a flyback transformer with a very simple flyback driver. And 3055. 2 and 3055. And a 12 volt battery. Uh, this is sitting at 12.55. Uh, uh, I can't measure anything with the um, rotary spark gap going because uh, my meters don't work. They just flash numbers indiscriminately. But anyway, this battery is sitting at 12.55 right now and when I turn it on it drops to 12.35 and I when I run the flyback without the rotary spark gap it pulls 2.2 amps off the battery uh, that's when it drops to 12.35 anyway just so you know um, so I'm burning about somewhere near 25 watts doing this uh, this uh, rotary spark gap is driven by um, this little motor from a printer which is driven by my um, pulse width modulator uh, with variable frequency now I don't vary the frequency I can use this actually uh, when I get it going down as slow as I can with the duty cycle um, increasing the frequency here helps me even fine tune to like uh, 1 hertz um, I can get out of this one hertz up to I don't know what it hums pretty good but uh, and you could do this with a 555 circuit I'm sure but um, it's being driven by a the same battery and this pulls like uh, 200 milliamps but uh, we can fire it up and have a look
have it. Very handy tool if you're going to be making a Tesla coil or pulsing other things. I've been meaning to make one of these. I should have made one of these two years ago, actually. But, um, yeah, this is going to come in very handy. If you have any questions about how I built it or any of this, uh, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching.